Hello everybody. I thought I'd take this opportunity just to show you how I use ARCs to help um, with price prediction. Um, we've got a stock here called Lion One Metals. It doesn't really matter what stock it is. All you really need to, to look at is the, the price action. So back in 2012, 13, 14, price had reached a, a peak at the sort of peak of the um, previous bull market run in 2011 and began to decline. Now, if you uh, are aware of cycle analysis, you would know that you'd be expecting um, a cyclical low to occur in 2000 and well, late 2015, early 2016. So this 16-year cycle uh, low. Price began to fall away from that 2011 high, and um, I suppose when it started to break down um, on the gold chart through some key levels around 1800 uh, on gold on the gold price, it became clear that. Um, we were likely headed down in towards the uh, major 16-year cycle low. Uh, this is one of the stocks, um, mining stocks, and you can see that um, the price of the stock sort of did the same thing. It carried on uh, falling down to that low in late 2015, 2016. So um, it's not clear at this stage what sort of bottoming formation this is going to sort of carve out, but it's very common for uh, an arc um, pattern uh, to to form if you don't uh, if you don't form a V a V shaped bottom um, so sometimes price plunges very sharply and then rises very sharply a bit like it did in March of this year you get a, a sudden sell off and a very rapid um, rise back up to where you started again uh, and also that's what happened in in 2008 of course during the financial crisis if you look at the gold chart there it followed very much of a sort of a V shaped pattern. But here we've got a more typical drawn out um, sort of bottoming process. And in that instance, you can start um, attempting to place an arc on the price sort of patterns. If you only had the information up until 2013, you might try and put the arc on something like that. Um, but then it becomes clear that you've got a lower low. So then what you do is you sort of con continually readjust. It doesn't mean that you're wrong. It doesn't mean that this isn't an arc formation that's, that's occurring. It just means that you haven't got all the information in. So when people sometimes criticise on Twitter and say, well, you're just changing your mind, you, you know, you keep changing where you put the arc. It's not, it's not that you're wrong to, to um, suggest that a, a, an arc-shaped base is going to form. It's just that you don't have all the information yet to be able to accurately place the arc. So... As time progresses, you can do that, but it's not until you get the first and second touch on the right-hand side of the arc that you know for sure where to put it. And that's not been until um, the last year or two, which wouldn't have helped you much over here. So you have to use other techniques to identify the actual low point in sort of late 2015. And that really boils down to a knowledge of the, the, um, the 8 and 16 year gold cycle. Um, and you have to sort of put your, your faith and your trust in, in, in that to a large degree. But once you've got more information in, you can put the arc on, as I've done here, and it becomes really useful, and it's becoming really useful right now. Um, so these arcs, although earlier on in the process, they, they might not help you a great deal. As you get further on uh, through time, they become a, a lot more helpful, and it was very helpful here in March of this year because we had the arc placed thanks to this sort of um, touch point here. And price sort of dropped onto the edge of the arc and then bounced all the way off it again. So it gave us confidence, a sort of increased level of confidence combined with, of course, this um, support line. It was a resistance line, it's now a support line. So price came down and touched the support line and touched the arc in the exact spot where the two meet, which gives us a high degree of confidence that this arc is, is valid. So that brings us to where we are now, and you can see the price has fallen back all the way from um, roughly two dollars sixty or just above, and we're currently around one dollar sixty or just above. So you know a large pullback there, and you might be sort of panicked out of your position or, or worrying that price is going to sort of plunge down to less than a dollar. But the arc is telling us otherwise. And if I zoom in, this is the same the same chart but zoomed into the last twelve months. So what you can see here now is that price is approaching this 
point here, it's being guided down by the resistance line. We've had a 10%, um, sorry, not 10%, a 6.5% uh, bounce in the, in the price today. It's taken us back towards the resistance line here. But I, I expect it to turn down and continue falling until we get um, down to the arc. Now, it could, it could come down through this support line and touch the arc down here at around $1.29, $1.30. Um, or it could just um, follow this um, you know, the apex, end up at the apex here um, in late November at around about $1.50, I think it is, uh, $1.45, $1.50. Um, I think tied in with what everything else that's going on around the US elections and, and, and so on, it wouldn't surprise me at all if um, we end up with the price spiking down in early November and you end up perhaps with more of a, a pattern like this, uh, sort of a descending channel. Just adjust it a little bit to make it fit the wicks a bit better like that. So you end up in uh, early November with price testing the edge of the arc. It could just come down spiked, spike here like it did here to, to fractionally below the arc and go straight back up again. Um, so it's really, really useful. And it's also useful in, in conjunction with um, the larger time frames on the, on the indicators. So if I zoom back out to uh, the five year view where these indicators oscillate on a more um, gradual basis. You can pick out major lows on the stochastic here. So we've got a major low um, in September of 2019 and then price went up, um, what's that, about threefold. So, you know, you'd have made back three times your, uh, your original investment. And, and here in March as well, you can see that uh, the stochastic bottomed and then we had a bull cross and then price went up by a factor of about three again. So, what I'm looking for is for the stochastic indicator to come down just a little bit more over the next few days, the price to come down um, to around about the $1.50, $1, oh, $1.30 sort of level, um, and then to reverse rapidly and, and break out exactly as it has done before. And, you, you know, you get that confidence from the fact that this arc has supported price very, very solidly throughout the last 10 years with all these touch points. And then we'll go up and away during the next bull run, which is um, going to develop over the next few uh, few months and into the early part of 2021. OK, so I hope you found that useful and a little bit of an insight as to just how to use these arcs and how to position them and um, how, to, how to get some value from them. Thanks for watching and listening.